we up to today? So this is a trainer session I did last night. Okay, now because Google, not Google, YouTube. Well, I suppose Google own YouTube, but because YouTube have given me a bit of slap on the wrist, and I still can't do live um, videos, um, I've had to record this. Now this is not the full session. Okay, this is um, one I did last night. It's with a group um, on Zwift, and we were doing this is to increase your VO2. All right, so VO2 max, and they're doing intervals. Now, I'll put this on because I have been asked heaps of times um, by a lot of you what are some training um, intervals you can do on the indoor trainer to help increase VO2, muscle, all the rest of it. and I thought I'd put this one on because it's specifically for VO2 and um, it's good to know that if you're doing a, a workout that it's not just wasted that you're actually going to get something from it now this one has been set up by um, one of the trainers on Zwift so they obviously know what they're doing they've um, worked out some watts to hold for 40 seconds then you have a 20 second recovery and then you go again and there's eight sets in each set okay um, eight reps in each set I should say so we've done a total of three this is the third one coming up now we're just in the recovery there's a five minute recovery and we slowly build back up um, so you have a recovery at around 160 and then it goes to 180 then 200 and then we get back into the um, sets again um, and this is the final set of eight and we're holding 370 watts for 40 seconds and then we're having a 20 second recovery okay now you can obviously go on to Zwift and do this not a problem at all but for those of you that don't have Zwift I thought I'll put this bit on there and I'm not going to do the whole thing you're only going to get about 10 minutes of this video or whatever um, but it will give you an idea of what you can incorporate into your own training on your indoor trainer dead easy okay uh, you can just time it or you can put it on your Garmin whatever but at least you have an idea then so we're coming back up now to start the last set of eight okay so now you'll see the power will build back up it's telling us to get to 370 the power will build up and you basically just got to sit there for 40 seconds okay at around that 370 ish mark and then it will tell you come back down to um, I think about 170 watts for 20 seconds and then you've got to go again so it's great to build up your VO2 max okay um, and it is nice to know the reason why I like doing some of these trainer sessions with the guys that uh, know what they're doing um, proper coaches and things is you know that the sets you're doing are actually going to do something okay so now it's telling us come back down to about 170 I'm recovering, you can see the next line, the, the red banner there, um, and off you go again. Now this one, I've deliberately done this next one, I think this one is the one where I drop back, and I'll let everyone overtake me, and I sit on the back, because those of you that want to get onto Zwift and may feel a bit intimidated, um, they might think you're going to get dropped when you're doing these sorts of things, that which you very well can, um, you don't always have to do the max effort that they're telling you okay um, you can sit on the back a little bit and it will be a little bit easier it's not on this particular one it's on the next one I think that I do so we're gonna sit here and do your 370 um, for the 40 seconds again and then I'll have a recovery and I think it's the next one I do it on so you don't have to push out the full 370 watts okay you can cheat a little bit and hang off the back um, and it does you at least you'll stay with everyone yeah? but if you do decide to get under this don't feel intimidated by it okay if you get dropped or whatever it doesn't matter you can continue on to do the the workout you'll just be doing it more on your own I don't know whether this one was set up where you can't get dropped I'm not sure sometimes they're set up where the program won't actually let you get dropped provided the elastic band doesn't get too long um, you'll actually stay in the zone um, at less watts 
okay um, as you can see this one now this is the one I'm doing it on so I'm meant to be doing 370 but I'm actually doing only 300 watts and staying with them okay um, so you know you can sort of stay there right you don't need to be intimidated by this yeah um, and believe me doing these things you get to a point where as you go on it becomes easier to hold those higher rates of knots right those higher rates of watts I should say those higher watts become easier for you to maintain for longer periods of time they really do work um, to start with they're bloody knackering I can tell you um, but they do they get easier for me I find when I start to spin up a bit um, you can hold that um, those higher watts and you can comfortably do do the sets um, and recovery is an important thing so when you finish you've got to make sure you recover well yeah? you need to make sure you do your recovery so at the end of this one there is a five minute cool down I did the five minute cool down everyone did it um, that is important as well and a warm up so the way you can set this particular one up is everyone gets a bit mad look we're touching 400 watts now Towards the last few, everyone gets a bit crazy and starts to try and race each other. <laughs> but, you know, that's just the nature of the beast, isn't it? Um, but the way you can set this up is you do yourself on your just your indoor training. You don't need Zwift, so you do yourself a five-minute warm-up. Start off about 160 watts. You're gonna have to work this out into heart rate if you don't have a power meter, but I'm gonna go on power meter. So 160 watts, then build up to 180 then go up to 200 and then about 220, try and work that up about every minute. Um, and then you start your sets. So you can do eight sets where you would go up to say 370 watts, like on this one, and then a 20 second recovery at 170 watts. Then back up and then back down. Do that eight times, then you have a five minute recovery. And again, when you come back down to your 160, you can build up then over that five minutes recovery you can build back up to 180 up to 200 you can stay at around 200 um, until the end of your five minute recovery and then go again up to 370 for 40 seconds back down to 170 for 20 seconds and so on do that and we did this three times yeah so we did those three separate sets and then the cool down so that is a nice easy one to do and it will help increase your vo2 max so i hope that has helped as i said i'm not going to put the whole thing on because we're on set six now and i'm not going to put the whole thing on but um that's pretty much it it's very easy to do and uh, you don't need if you don't need anything all you need is an indoor trainer and off you go so go on go and get that vo2 max increase if you got any questions or comments Ask someone who knows what they're talking about. Don't ask me. Whatever you do. No, you can ask me. Um, put your comments down below.